In this video, I will show you how to export a, a grid that you generate in point-wise so that it can be uh, read by, for example, the NGA code. Um, so first, uh, this is the, um, the grid for a cylinder vortex shedding that Yagnik uh, generated. So I got it from him. Then um, you see this, uh, this is a 2D grid because the, there is no block in the um, in the grid file, it's only it only consists of the 12 different domains. The first thing you want to do is go to the CAE menu here in the menu and um, choose the select solver. Then um, choose the wind. I think this is the NASA code and choose a structured. If you're using a, a structured grid code such as NGA or Rockflow. So now this uh, structured wind format supports 2D and 3D. I think this is the wind is a uh, a new name for the plus 3D. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm pretty sure this is a NASA um, the format or software. So choose OK. So now the software is chosen. So um, for some reason, Yagnik said the uh, dimension is 3D, but this is a 2D grid because we don't have a block. Block means the volume. So let's go back to 2D and go to grid and let's choose the structure. Structure is already chosen by default. So uh, then uh, now you have see 12 different domains. Before you export the grid, you need to uh, merge them together. But one thing is that it's possible that the, you uh, change the domain or grid resolution uh, later. So the best way to do it is that you only merge these 12 domain into a single domain only before you export and do not save the merged domain because the, it's possible that you have to change it later. So um, the way you uh, merge the domain is that you simply choose the entire domain from domain 1 to domain 12 and every domain is selected and go to the edit menu there is a join. There, uh, I'm using Mac, so the comment J is the comment doing it. So if you press the join, then instead of the 12 domain, you have only single domain. This is this step is necessary because otherwise you're gonna have a 12 different blocks in your grid. You want to have a single domain. So again, do not save anything. You want to keep the 12 domain. You you join the domain only 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 before you export the grid. So go to file and go to export. In this particular case, we are exporting the grid only. So um, unlike the previous example, uh, I choose the export and grid. So and download and CGNS, then choose the plus 3D and just the temporary name test and uh, extension is X. So I will press. And there are a bunch of the options. So you may have to play around with this, but uh, because the this plus 3D grid will be read by NGA, so it, which is the Fortran code, let's choose unformatted. This is a special type of the binary file format supported by the Fortran. And by the order, maybe uh, native. Um, it's possible that I have to switch to the swap bytes. I'm not hundred percent sure, so it's 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 gotta be always double precision when you do a, a scientific computing, because this is two D grid. Let's choose two D. Then, is it is it multiple block or a single block? This is single block. So and hit the OK. Then um, here I see the test dot x. So let's open a tech plot. So now I drag and drop this test.x and uncheck the shade and mesh and I do see the grid. Okay, so this is everything for the um, how to export the, um, uh, the existing uh, point-wise grid to the structured plus 3D grid. So you can play around with the different options and so on. Okay.